Guys, here in this video we are going to solve CPU overheating and also stop thermal throttling and automatic shutdown. Yeah, you will need throttle stop for this. You can easily download it from official Tech Power Up website. After downloading, extract it. Now, open the software. If you haven't used throttle stop or this type of software before, then you will see the stock settings. This software is very easy to use. We need to use it carefully. Click the TS bench and open limits panel. Let's see current conditions of the CPU. In my case, it's too hot and reaching the maximum limit temperature. Of course, CPU is thermal throttling. Click F5 VR and a window will pop up like this. Check this unlock box, and now we can drag the sliders. We have to only work with offset voltage. At first, drag the slider to around minus 40 or 50 MB. Then, you have to slowly decrease the value. At some point the system will become unstable and will either stuck or crash. Suppose if I face blue screen or my PC gets stuck on minus 100 MB, then I should drag the slider to around 80 to 85 MB, as it would be a stable spot. If you are able to make minus 125 MB, then don't go beyond it. In my case, values between minus 50 and minus 40 are stable. Similarly we need to undervolt cache. Cache can be undervolted a bit more so in my case, I will set to minus 65 MB. Also if your CPU have an integrated graphics, you can undervolt it too. We can keep it around core and cache. I will go minus 46 MV for it. It's time to benchmark again. If your temperature got decreased, you can jump to last part. However, if your issue is still unsolved like me then follow along. Let's disable turbo and again run TS Bench. The temperatures are great than before. Guys, Turbo is throwing more power in CPU for higher CPU speed, which in return is generating more heat. If you are facing thermal throttling due to Turbo like me, you may probably have a laptop without proper cooling. So what can we do in this case? The best thing is to disable Turbo or if you don't want to disable it completely, then we can limit our CPU speed. Like my CPU can run maximum at 3200 MHz, then I can limit it to lower speeds. We need to change the value of maximum cores. Here 31 means 3100 MHz, I will decrease it to 29. It means my processor will run at 2900 MHz when my all cores become active. Also you guys might be wondering when all cores becomes active. It's when your CPU gets loaded up. It's still hot so I will decrease more. At 27 it's a bit stable. However, the base clock is 2600 MHz, so it's not too much gain on enabling turbo. Thus it would turn it off. It's time to check whether our settings are stable for long run or not. We can do a stress test for some hours and use our device with these settings for a week. You can do this by TS Bench, but there are other softwares for stress test. Prime95 is a better option. To begin with Prime95, close these panels and minimize the throttle stop. This is the official side of Prime95. Let's download it. Run the software as administrator. Here, make sure to use maximum avail of course. We can check it from task manager. Leave the other options as they are. Click OK. The stress test has begun. We can verify it from task manager.
let it run for at least 4 hours. If you got any error during the test, you can google it else if you successfully pass the test you have found the stable settings. Make sure you run throttle stop every time you boot up. Moreover, you can comment down regarding any problems or queries. Love you guys.